Hello dear friends and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. It's good to see that some of you are actually watching these videos and I thank you for taking the time to do that. I feel that in these modern times people just don't take the time out to listen and reflect on God's word. I was recently blessed in the fact that I was able to find on eBay a church altar and hymn book from 1864 selling for less than £10 and it helped me to realise how much times have changed in a relatively short space of history. In fact, I would just like to read some of what it says about the Bible. So I hope you enjoy this small piece. O oh, Heavenly Father, Thine eye is upon me now. Keep me from all wandering thoughts while I am in Thy house of prayer. Help me to worship Thee in spirit, and bless to me what I shall hear of Thy holy word. For Christ my Saviour's sake. Amen. Remembering that this was written to be said at the beginning of a church service, it is amazing how true it is of us today, as it was when it was written nearly 150 years ago. Too often, people allow their minds to wander, and just listen to what God has to say for his word, so that we may be blessed by it. Please be sure to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk I seem to be adding new stuff to that site all the time, and I hope that as well as honouring God, it's something of interest to you as well. Now let's do the right thing and open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Exodus, chapter 9 Then Yahweh said to Moses, Go into Pharaoh and tell him, This is what Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, says, Let my people go that they may serve me. For if you refuse to let them go, and hold them still, observe, Yahweh shall inflict upon your livestock which are in the field, on the horses, on the donkeys, on the camels, on the herds, and on the flocks, a very terrible disease. Yahweh will make a distinction between the livestock of Israel and the livestock of Egypt, and nothing shall die of all that belongs to the children of Israel. Yahweh appointed a set time, saying, Tomorrow, Yahweh shall do this thing in the land. Yahweh did that thing on the next day, and all the livestock of Egypt died. But of the livestock of the children of Israel, not one died. Pharaoh sent, and he noticed that there was not so much as one of the livestock of the Israelites dead. But the heart of Pharaoh was stubborn, and he didn't let the people go. He always said to Moses and Aaron, Take you handful of ashes of the furnace, and let Moses sprinkle it toward the sky in the sight of Pharaoh. It shall become small dust of all the land of Egypt, and shall be a boil breaking out with boils on man and on animal throughout all the land of Egypt. And they took ashes of the furnace, and stood before Pharaoh, and Moses sprinkled it up toward the sky, and it became a boil breaking out with boils on man and on animal. The magicians couldn't stand before Moses because of the boils, for the boils were on the magicians and on all the Egyptians. Yahweh hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he didn't listen to them, as Yahweh had spoken to Moses. Yahweh said to Moses, Rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh, and tell him, This is what Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, says, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For this time, I will send all my plagues against your heart, against your officials, and against your people, that you may know that there is no one like me in all the earth. For now I would have stretched out my hand, and struck you and your people with disease, and you would have been cut off from the earth. But indeed, for this cause I have made you stand, to show you my power, that my name may be declared throughout all the earth, as you still elevate yourself against my people, that you won't let them go. Look. Tomorrow, about this time, I will make it to rain a very terrible hail, such as not been in Egypt since the day it was surrounded, even until now. Now therefore, command that all your livestock and all that you have in the field be brought to shelter, every man and animal that is found in the field, and isn't brought home, the hail shall come down on them, and they shall die. Those who feared Yahweh's word among the servants of Pharaoh made their servants and livestock flee into the houses. Whoever didn't respect Yahweh's word, 
left his servants and his livestock in the field. He always said to Moses, Stretch out your hand toward the sky, that there may be hail in all the land of Egypt, on man, and on animal, and on every herb of the field, throughout the land of Egypt. Moses stretched out his rod toward the heavens, and Yahweh sent thunder, hail, and lightning, flashing down to the earth. Yahweh rained hail on the land of Egypt. So there was very severe hail, and lightning mixed with the hail, such as has not been in all the land of Egypt since it became a nation. The hail struck, for I told the land of Egypt, all that was in the field, both man and animal. And the hail struck every herb of the field, and broke every tree of the field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, there was no hail. Pharaoh sent and called for Moses and Aaron and said to them, I have sinned this time. Yahweh is righteous, and I and my people are wicked. Pray to Yahweh, for there has been an awful of mighty thundering and hail. I will let you go, and you shall stay no longer. Moses said to him, As soon as they have gone out of the city, I will spread abroad my hands to Yahweh. The thunders shall cease, and there will not be any more hail. You may know that the earth is Yahweh's. As for you and your servants, I know that you don't yet fear Yahweh God. The flax and the barley were struck, for the barley was in the air, and the flax was in bloom. But the wheat and the spelt were not struck, for they had not grown up. Moses went out of the city from Pharaoh and spread aboard his hands to Yahweh, and the thunders and hail ceased, and the rain was not poured on the earth. When Pharaoh saw that the rain and the hail and the thunders had ceased, he sinned yet more, and hardened his heart, he and his servants. The heart of the Pharaoh was hardened, and he didn't let the children of Israel go, just as Yahweh had spoken through Moses.